Are you on the lookout for a well-proportioned family home in one of Redford's most sought-after villages that offers great potential to improve and sits in a really large plot? Then take a look at this guys, today I'm out on Main Street in Hayton to show you number 57 or the Meadows. Now the plot here is absolutely fantastic. It leads all the way down to the Chesterfield Canal and we've got a really nice uh, seating area alongside the water. The property also owns the lane which runs along the right side of the property all the way down to the bridge and over the canal. There's plenty of off-road parking. We've got this block paved driveway which snakes around and it forms a really large parking and turning area. And we've got an attached double garage which you can access from the house itself. In the rear garden we've got a large patio, there's also a, a swimming pool which is currently used as a sunken garden but the owner tells me could be converted back into a swimming pool relatively easily if the new owner chose to do so. Inside the property we've got a large light and airy entrance hallway that then leads into the ground floor reception rooms, we've got a good sized kitchen, there's then a lounge diner, which is a great size with large windows and patio doors looking out over that fabulous garden. We've then got a separate snug or study, depending on what you want to use it for, as well as a ground floor loo and utility. Up the stairs, we've then got four really good sized bedrooms. One of them has an ensuite shower room. Uh, there's another which is currently fitted out as a study with a view over the garden. It's got a range of fitted desks and furniture in there. We've then got a family bathroom, which again is a really good size. Now this property is available to view now, both virtually and physically. To do that, give us a call. The number's 17 808 777. Email hello at nicholsonsestateagents.co.uk or DM us on the socials. I'm Mark Nicholson from Nicholson's Estate Agents. Join me now for a video tour. This property sits on Main Street in the centre of the village. We've got the bus stop across the road and we're relatively short walks from the playing field and the boat inn. The driveway is a really good size. You could park multiple vehicles here. It continues around and leads up to the attached double garage, which is oversized and forms a further parking and turning area in front of the property. There's also a section of driveway along the left side of the house, which could be ideal for parking a trailer or perhaps a caravan or motorhome. Entering the property through this storm porch, we have the entrance hallway with stairs leading up to first floor, an oak floor covering and doors accessing all of the reception rooms and the kitchen. The kitchen's a good sized kitchen diner We've got basin wall units and we have integrated Neff double oven, four ring electric hobs, space and supply for a dishwasher, stainless steel sink with drainer and an integrated under counter fridge. This then leads through into the dining area with a door which leads onto that left section of driveway. We then have a door which leads through to the dining area of the lounge I think it would be great to remove that wall to create a much larger kitchen diner and living area, perhaps with some bifold or patio doors here out to the garden. The lounge itself is a great size. We've got these really big full height windows to the rear with sliding patio doors and we have this feature marble Louis the 16th style fireplace which has been installed at great expense by the current owner and is available with the property if a purchaser would like it. The lounge then leads back into the entrance hallway at the base of the stairs and then we sweep round into the ground floor loo which is a really good sized room. Plenty of space in here for a shoe rack and then we've got the further reception room, which is currently set up as a snug or TV room, but would make a great playroom or study. We then pass through to the utility room where we've got a double doored cloaks cupboard, ideal for ironing boards and hoovers. There's a passageway which leads front to back here, 
and then this utility area with a sink and base units as well as a supply for a washing machine. Heading now upstairs, we've got a lovely light and airy landing. This has a display shelf which sits over that storm porch and doors accessing all of the bedrooms as well as the family bathroom. This is the third bedroom currently set up as a study with these lovely oak units, fully fitted with plenty of bookcases, powerpoints, telephone point, and lots of cupboards. We then have bedroom number two, which has a range of fitted wardrobes, window to the front aspect, and then a door leading through into an ensuite shower room. And then across the landing, we have the bathroom, which is a really large bathroom with a five piece suite, a shower area, as well as a concealed system toilet, bidet and bath. We've also got a dressing table area. And then bedroom number four, which has a window overlooking that fabulous rear garden. and additional built-in furniture and storage. Now through to the main bedroom. This is a fabulous room with this big window overlooking the garden. Lots of space around the bed. And we have this range of maple ward wardrobes and storage drawers all built in. Heading out now to that rear garden, it's a really great size. We've got a large expanse of York stone patio, which leads onto the lawn. To the side here, we have a sunken garden, uh, which was formerly a swimming pool, and the owner tells us can be easily converted back. And there's also plans and uh, some services in to create some changing rooms and showers in that area. We then pass through this conifer archway and through this pergola, which is entwined in wisteria, which will look fabulous in early summer when it's in full flower. To the right, we have a rose garden and then the lawn continues to the rear of the garden where it meets the Chesterfield Canal. To the rear of the garden here, there is this small drainage dike. And as we cross this, we go to a further section. The owner enjoys spending summer evenings down by the canal. We've got this seating area here just next to the bridge where you can enjoy the canal side views. If you want further information on this property, give us a call. It's 01777 808 777. Email hello at nicholsonsestateagents.co.uk or DM us on the socials.